Hello everybody and welcome back to another not applicable Formula One video. I've seen a lot of people discussing the lap time controversy from the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix with Sergio Perez's radio message being discussed a lot. So let's flesh out the context a little bit, look at the radio messages between the Red Bull boys and try and work out what actually went down. Some quick things you need to know, there are four people involved here, Sergio and Max obviously, as well as Hugh Bird, race engineer for Sergio Perez and Gian Piero Lambiassi, race engineer for Max Verstappen. This all started to go down around lap 38 where Hugh Bird tells Sergio Perez, Max is managing his pace now, no response from Sergio Perez needed. Lap 39 comes around however, Hugh Bird tells Perez, target lap time 133, Max targeting the same. And Gian Piero Lambiassi tells Max, like to target time 133.0 please. On lap 39, Sergio Perez goes 133.123, Max Verstappen however goes for a 132.432. Max clearly hasn't heard the message or listened to the message going seven tenths quicker than Sergio Perez. So on lap 40, Gian Piero Lambiassi tells Max again, Max confirmed 33.0. He gets no response from Max Verstappen, so he says again, Again, target 33-0, to which Max doesn't respond. They come across the start-finish line and Checo puts in a 133.19, while Max Verstappen a 132.6, again gaining five tenths of a second on his teammate. So lap 41 comes along and this is where the screenshot that's been going around happens. Hugh Bird tells Checo, target 132.6 plus 0.4, Max Verstappen's last lap time. Perez then asks, is Max doing the same time? Hugh Bird tells Perez, Max's last lap was a 132.6, to which Sergio asks, so why tell me 33.0? Hugh Bird says it's target plus four. Hugh is trying to explain that 133 is still the optimal lap time, but is being transparent about the fact that Max is not following what the team has outlined to him. Both Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen finish that lap with the same lap time, a 132.6. Lap 42 then rolls around where Hugh Bird tells Perez, your lap 32.6, Max's lap 32.6. Perez then actually responds by saying, guys, we really don't need this. There has still been no discussion between Lambiassi and Verstappen on their side of the garage. Roll round lap 43, Perez on the radio asked to target a 33.0 again, as they had been before. Hugh Bird decides not to respond at this point. Sergio Perez then asks instead what the gap is to Max Verstappen behind, and Hugh Bird informs him that the gap to Max Verstappen is 4.3 seconds. Super transparent from Hugh Bird. Obviously, when Perez hears this, he realizes that the gap has closed from the five seconds it was a few laps previous. So Perez asks, are we pushing now? Not wanting that gap to close any further. Hubert gives Perez the license to then push forward, saying yes, free to push. Remember, there has still been nothing said between Lambiassi and Verstappen until Jean-Pierre Lambiassi tells Max, Max, target 33.0, please. Both Perez and Verstappen finish that lap with the same lap time, a 132.2, a mile away from the 133.0 the team would prefer. Lap 44, we hear nothing from either driver or either engineer as both drivers get their heads down and put in equal lap times of 132.3. Both drivers then push basically until the end of the race. For me, looking at all the radio messages, I'm sorry, Max fans, but it's completely his fault. Both engineers gave identical lap times to both drivers. Verstappen went radio silent and completely ignored the instructions, going considerably faster than the target time for two laps in a row. Lambiassi reminded him multiple times that he needed to slow down and he didn't. I feel like Sergio Perez's side of the garage can take no blame. Not only did Hugh Bird relay all the information being very transparent with what was happening with Max behind, closing the gap to Sergio Perez, he also then gave Sergio the go-ahead to push once he'd seen that Max was not going to slow down. Perez was clearly able to match everything that Max Verstappen could throw at him as well, and therefore Max Verstappen didn't really achieve anything apart from extra wear on both Red Bull cars, and has shown Sergio Perez again that he's never going to be a team player at Red Bull. He then also gets fastest lap at the end of the race, which to be fair, I can completely understand as every point matters. On top of that, he does little things post-race, like putting his stuff on Perez's table and sitting in Perez's seat in the cool-down room, which doesn't feel like much, but I think he knows what he's doing sitting in the winner's chair. I'm not criticizing for it. I'd definitely do it if I was in that position. It's tiny margins that get in the other person's head. Like, I noticed it. It's in my head. It's definitely going to be in Sergio Perez's head as well. But in terms of what happened over the radio, I don't think there's much more that Red Bull could actually do. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And whilst you're down there, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time.